misère! Minions, I'm Kim Woody from Woody Artistry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an Alice in Wonderland look of the Queen of Hearts. So let's get into the tutorial. Huge shout out to my awesome patrons, Brad Shear and Dantastic. If you guys want to join Patreon, the link's in my description. Starting off this makeup, I'm doing a zigzag part and I'll be separating my hair into ponytails. I thought it would look really cute for this. All right, we're going to be putting down some eyelid primer and then some dark red eyeshadow. I wanted to do some like really glam eyes for this. Dark reds in the crease, just pack it on heavy and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. When I blend out, I make sure I have tape down from the edge of my outer corner that just goes straight back towards my temples. This is basically so I can get a super crisp, clean line when I'm um, done and I can just peel it off. All right, when I use my fluffy brush, I blend in little circles and I go all the way up to my brow bone. This is how you just get that like really nice feathery look to your eyeshadow. I'm adding some silver in the center of, or not the center, the inner corner of the eyelids and then a little bit on the center and just blending it towards the outer corner. This is going to make it look a little farther forward, a little bit more glammy. And now I'm using my bent eyeliner brush to apply gel liner. I am using Graftobian body paint because I swear to God their body paint is better than any eyeliner I've ever bought. All right, peel off that tape. This is super satisfying. You're gonna have a little bit of fallout underneath your eyes, but that's why I leave um, my face clean. I don't put on the foundation yet. So after I brushed away the fallout, I am using some uh, Ultra HD concealer underneath my eyes and just feathering in that brown red tone just to make it look more uniform. Seal that all up with MAC Fix Plus. This is my go-to sealer. Keeps everything nice looking, keeps it from breaking off with oil or movement. I decided to design sort of like a little um, neck piece, I guess, for this character. It's just going to be a pattern of black and white squares with like a heart in the center that alternate between black and white. So I'm doing that, adding the heart with some red body paint. I'm using blue squid for the body paint primarily. Fill in those squares, make sure you try to keep it as neat as possible, but I will be cleaning it up later with the black lines. Anyway, so most of this character is a costume and a beauty makeup, which was a nice change, because sometimes I do like overkill with the whole body characters and just like the super detailed fur and everything. So I just wanted to do something a little simpler, you know, start getting in the spooky spirit. It is August after all, and September is right around the corner. Outline the black, boxes, fill them in with black body paint, and I'm going to connect the boxes with that black body paint as well. Fill that in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. And right now you're watching this while I'm on vacation actually. My family and I, um, who we've been isolated, COVID is really weird, but like we, we've been isolated. Um, we're going to our isolated little cabin um, up north for about a week. So if I don't reply to these comments right away, I apologize. But hey, this video is scheduled so you can see it. Yay. Um, I'm outlining the heart with black and then I wanted to do a white foundation, but I wanted it to look really good. So I decided to use white cream makeup, which I hate creams. They just feel so oily, but you know what? It works so much better for a flawless foundation than water activated body paint does. So I am stippling that on with a sponge all over my face and my ears. And then I'm making sure I'm powdering it with white powder. It is important to set cream makeup whenever you do use it because it, it just needs to be set. Otherwise it smears. Blending down that red eyeshadow, I thought it would be cool to create like tears sort of or like little points that are coming down from the eyes just to work with that Alice in Wonderland theme and the Red Queen I just wanted to get a little bit more red in there and with the red eyeshadow I am lightly adding it onto my nose and cheeks just to add more dimension to the character a little bit more um, beauty in the whole thing but still like whimsy so I added that to the cheeks and I'm blending it out with a fluffy brush uh, start light when you're adding um, such dark uh, colors to such a light area. Now I am painting my part white just to make sure that the character looks like this is actually her head and her skin tone. Then I am going to be painting my hair red. I am using water activated body paint for this. It is safe. It does come out of your hair in the shower. The only time it doesn't is if you have bleached your hair recently and or potentially if you have white hair from just 
graying and aging. Um, I, I don't know about that. You might get some staining, but it is meant for your hair, body, and nails. So it's, it's a really universal product. I wanted the ponytails to um, just kind of go naturally into my natural hair color. So I'm adding sort of a fade out and then brushing out the pigtails. All right, now we need to pump up those eyes with a black mascara. I use the Milk Mascara Kush Mascara. This stuff is just the best in my opinion. And it doesn't irritate my eyes, so I really enjoy this and it stays creamy for a really long time. So I'm adding multiple layers on the top eyelashes and the lower eyelashes and then I'm going to be gelling my eyebrows to look like really nice and then filling them in with some black eyebrow pencil. This is just from Ben Nye and I'm adding little foofies on the inner center just to create cartoony looking brows. Now I'm packing on black eyeshadow onto the black body paint just to prevent cracking and make it just look like a little darker because it wasn't I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, so I packed it on, it looks much better. Now I'm outlining the edge of my face and then filling in everything with black to have it more theatrical. I did not like how it was just showing my neck skin. So then I powdered it, I liked it a lot more and it fit a lot more with my costume. I needed some more uh, longer eyelashes on my lower lids, so I added some more layers of that. Let it dry, add some more blush I needed it to be just a little more punchy. And then I thought it would be cool if I had a heart lips. So I'm using a Smashbox liquid lipstick and just making it into a heart and using a paintbrush just to get the right shape. I wanted it to have that like cute little Tim Burton feel for the Red Queen on the lips and I'm powdering it just so it um, is less sticky. This is a very sticky product. And then filling in the rest with white. Very, very carefully. Spray it all down, make sure it's all sealed. Add a black heart beauty mark. Release the Jabba Wookie! Up on the head! <laughs> I couldn't resist. So, ta-da, you are the queen of hearts. Off with their heads and whatnot. I hope you guys really like this. This was really pretty and fun and I love Alice in Wonderland. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end. I would have had to cut off your heads if you left early. But I wanted to say that I love you, I appreciate you, and all of the warm pig bellies that you give my feet. And huge shout out to my wonderful Patreon producers. Thank you for supporting the kingdom. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.